Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this slow cooker pizza. Very simple recipe, you can customize it any way you like, and in a couple hours, you don't have to do any real work, you'll have a nice, lovely pizza. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. So all we have to do to make this is start out with a refrigerated pizza dough. I'm using this Pillsbury pizza dough crust. If you live in a country where you can't get refrigerated pizza dough, you can make your own pizza dough. Just be alert that it may take different times in your slow cooker to cook, so you wanna watch it closely. Now, all we have to do, because we're lucky here and we have this refrigerated pizza dough, is open this up. And we can roll out our dough. It's all right if it breaks up a little bit because we can just push it together. And before we put our dough in our crock pot, we want to spray it with some cooking spray. Take our dough and push it around the lining here. And anywhere where there's holes at it, just kind of like take your fingers and push them together. And it'll the dough will stick. And you want to go up the sides a little bit, about an inch up. And it may not look pretty, but this is going to be your crust. And trust me, it'll taste great. Now you just want to have some pizza sauce. I'm using this sauce from a jar. You can make your own, or you can just use ragu sauce. It's fine, just regular tomato sauce. Now you can put as much in here, as little as you like. It's up to you. How do you like your pizza? Um, I'm going to cover a good amount on the bottom here. Just gonna use a big spoon and kind of run it around. Then we can just take some mozzarella cheese. This is already shredded cheese. And put a good amount in here. I'm also gonna take some Parmesan cheese. This is just powdered Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put some of that in there as well. And some already cut up pepperonis. Just gonna spread them out a little. Now, if you have sausage, already cooked meats, you can do that as well. I'm not going to do that, but I am going to add some more cheese on top of my pepperoni. And that's it. I'm just going to take this, put this on the crock pot, put it on slow for at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We're going to check it. So it's been about two hours since I put my pizza in the slow cooker and I've been cooking it. The last 10 minutes though, I have increased the, the temperature to high and that's gonna make the crust a little more firmer. Nice crust. And now the hard part is trying to get this out of here, trying to keep it all in one piece. Um, it doesn't matter if you cut it up and just serve it individually like a pie, but um, I wanna get it all in one piece for a good photo. So, it's gonna be a challenge, but I think I can do it. Try to loosen the sides a little bit. There we go, not bad. Well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna cut this open and dig into it, and I think the best way to eat this is with a knife and fork, but you can try it with your hands if you'd like. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is take some more Parmesan cheese and sprinkle over it, because I do like my cheese. And just cut this open. I'm gonna do it through, like a cut this way and another one this way. And I've cut me a small piece off here and I'm gonna give it a shot. Mm. It's still hot. It's good, it's not too soggy in the middle and the outside crust is perfect. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy watching me make this slow cooker or crock pot pizza. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos every week. And be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you'll enjoy those as well. Also check out the playlist. I'm gonna have a pizza playlist on there. So check that out. I have lots of different types of pizza, including pizza cones, including uh, rice crusted pizza. So check that playlist out. There's a lot of good recipes on there. And until then, I'll see you next week.